Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jillian Shanahan. I'm an online teacher and uh, this YouTube channel is actually dedicated to other online teachers and independent contractor teachers who are looking to increase their income so that they can hit their own life goals. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe and click that little bell notification so you don't miss anything that I put out. So teaching online has completely transformed my life. I am definitely not where I was a couple of years ago. I have gotten to be way more financially independent than I ever thought I would be. And probably, no, definitely the most notable change that I have noticed myself in my own life is that I went from being a renter to a homeowner. And from someone who was living paycheck to paycheck working at the post office before this, that's a pretty big change for me. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the home buying process as an independent contracted teacher. It's a little bit different. And this is especially true if teaching is your only form of income or if your only form of income is through independent contracted activities. So if you have a brick and mortar teaching job as well and you do this as a side hustle, this isn't going to 100% apply to all of the stuff. But if you are just an online teacher and you don't have other things that you're doing, you don't have a job where you fill out a W-2, then a lot of this information is going to apply to you. So buying a home is already an insane process. There's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot of time table things that go into it depending on your state. Uh, and it gets a little trickier when you're an independent contractor. Today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that will hopefully help you navigate this process a little bit easier so you can get it started or at least you know go in the right direction like you know where you have to go to get to where you want to be like owning your own home right that's why we're here and for me where i live owning a home is so much better than renting because it's actually cheaper and then you're putting equity under your belt so you actually have something that's of value instead of you know paying off somebody else's house which is what you're doing when you're renting or you're giving them an income or putting money into something that you own and it's usually significantly less than what it would cost you to rent a place and then you can also um do what you want. You can take walls down, you can expand, you can do what you want to and not have a landlord that you have to deal with. Especially for me personally, <laughs> I had a landlord that was just literally walking into my house whenever he wanted to. And he actually said to me, Tenant's rights? I don't care about that. Just follow tenant's rights, Joe. I don't care it's about not... the tenant's rights. I do, I'm a tenant. We don't care about tenant's rights. It was pretty fun. Now, I do want to let you know this is for the home buying process in the United States only. I don't know anything about any other countries. So teachers, independent contractors that are coming to me, coming to this channel from other countries, these may or may not apply to you. Actually, a lot of them probably do not. I know some of them actually do not apply to you. But maybe you have other programs in your country that do apply to you that are similar. And I would encourage you to look for those because these programs can be super, super helpful. Buying a home for independent contractors is a little bit different than buying a home as someone who fills out a W-2. Lenders wanna make sure that you have a concrete, solid foundation of income. They don't want to lend money to somebody who has been doing something for a very short period of time and it might not be something that they can continue to do and then they end up having to foreclose on the home. So they're going to require two years of tax returns with the same independent contracted income. So if you went from uh, transcribing as an independent contractor and then you started teaching online, those aren't the same thing, so it's not gonna count for the same time frame. You're gonna have to have two years of online teaching. And a lot of companies are actually going to require it from the same source. So that means that if you went from VIP kid to palefish to out school, none of that is really gonna count towards the same two year period. It's all gonna be the same company for a lot of lenders because they wanna make sure that your income is reliable and sufficient enough to pay the bill to pay the loan that you're taking out. However, in my um, home buying process, I actually learned that there is a company out there, Penny Mac, 
they will usually allow you to have one year. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, it's just something that when I was going through my home buying process, that's something that I had found out myself. And I know a lot of first time home buyers especially, they're not where they think they need to be or where the banks want them to be in order to buy their first home. They might have a credit score that is too low, they might have, um, you know, they don't have enough money in the bank to close. And to me, that seems kind of unfair because those are usually the people that uh, really need to buy a home to have stability. Like buying a home would probably be beneficial to them, especially because mortgages are generally cheaper than paying rent. So it's not really fair. But it is what it is and there are some programs out there that can help you navigate around that. If you are a military veteran, uh, like myself, then you can check out the VA loans. That is actually who I ended up closing on my house with was through the military VA loan. I had started through another program called NACA, which I will get to in a second, but I ended up finishing the process with the VA loans and it was really, really fast. I think I initially contacted them in December. I um, found the house that I wanted to look at. Like I looked at a whole bunch of houses and found the one that I wanted to look at on Christmas Eve put the bid in on Christmas and then the day after Christmas my bid was my bid was accepted and I ended up closing on February 28th which was the very last day I could close we had issues there are always issues when you're buying a house I actually found this Facebook page and I'm going to link to it in the description box this guy was absolutely amazing and he hooked me up with somebody in my area that could help me through the whole process so if you are a military vet go check out the Facebook page I'll put it in the description box and the guy that runs it, if you post in there and say something, he's going to contact you, set up an appointment, and hook you up with someone in your area that can meet your needs. Actually, I sent my brother to him too, and he just closed on his house too, so that was really exciting. Most of us are not military veterans, so that program doesn't work for everybody. There is another program that I'm aware of. It's called NACA, N-A-C-A, and I almost closed with them, but they're program takes a little bit longer to close with and it's a little a little bit more it's a lot more in depth like <laughs> I had an entire binder full of the papers that they needed but it's definitely worth it you can find them and again I'll link to it in the description box but you can find them at naca.com the benefit with NACA is there's no closing costs their interest rate is super super low the VA one is too but NACA's is also super low. They're not going to go off of your credit score, they're just going to go off your reliability. So they're not gonna count like um, things that they consider predatory, they're not gonna consider that against you, but they are going to want you to like, you know, have a good debt to income ratio and have a plan to pay off your bills and be caught up on payment plans. So they're gonna go off of your credit reliability. They're also going to require you to be a registered voter. Even if you don't think that you're ready to qualify, I highly suggest looking into them because the process does take some time. So you're going to go to that website, naca.com, and look to start the process. You are going to attend an orientation and then after that, they're going to set you up with a credit counselor or a mortgage counselor who is going to look at your credit who is going to look at your information from the credit bureaus and they're going to look at like your budget and everything they're going to set you up with what they think your monthly payment should be or what you want your monthly payments to be they're going to hook you up with a realtor or you can use your own and as of today the interest rates for NACA are 2.375 percent for a 30-year mortgage and 1.875 percent for a 15-year mortgage which are super super low those are probably way less than you can find anywhere else. And then there is another place you can look and those are USDA loans. These are loans for houses for people that want to live in rural areas. I didn't go through them so I can't tell you too much about them but I do know that they exist. Now before I go I wanted to let you know that I'm putting together a short course for the financial side of things. We all know that buying a house costs money and a lot of times you might have debts or things that you need to get taken care of before a bank will consider loaning you money to buy a home even with the programs that I listed. In this course, I'm going to show you exactly how I went from seriously in debt and overwhelmed, paying off over $20,000 in debts, including student loans and a car, <laughs> and buying a house in 13 months. If you are interested in this, 
Make sure you click the link below, it's in the description box so that you can get more information when this course comes out. Or if you're watching this at a later date, maybe the course is already out. Best of luck on your home buying and update us in the comment section when you get your house. This is not going to be a blooper. <laughs>